So I have a question and there is zero judgment or shame, no matter how you answer. This is solely meant for curiosity and reflection. My question is, do you think kids participating in eco-focused activities feel burdened and uninterested, feel like they can easily adapt and find joy in learning about the environment, prefer conventional activities over sustainable ones, or all of the above? So eco-focused activities could mean like anything from learning how to recycle and compost to throwing a low-waste birthday party, which might be different from some of their friends, um, cleaning up nature walks, et cetera. So take a second to think about your own experiences, whether as a mama or maybe even in your own childhood, how would you answer? My perspective is I, I lean towards the all of the above option. I feel like their experience is directly linked to how the topic or the activity is presented to them. So it could totally go south and feel like a burden or awful. Like, you know, they might say things like, this is the worst. Like, you know, why is my birthday party so different from anyone else's, right? Or it could be super exciting. It could be a really fun, engaging learning experience. They could get super fired up about it. It could be anywhere in between. Let me tell you a quick story to demonstrate what I mean. First, hi, I'm Katie. I'm a mama, a coach, and a podcaster focused on empowering eco-minded mamas to live sustainably, saving thousands of dollars and reducing their carbon footprint through everyday routines that are both supporting the earth and their family, and I wanna help you to do the same. Let's get into it. So, story time. I was a first grade teacher for five years before I made the career switch into coaching. And every job that I ever had before that was connected to childcare, and now I have my own family. So I have a vast array of experiences working with kids. In all of these experiences so far, I have found kids to be enthusiastic learners and they crave a sense of independence and responsibility more often than not. They want to help, they want to contribute, and they want to make an impact just as much, if not more so, than we do. And they want to also know that you trust them to be part of that process and to have that sense of responsibility and independence. When I tell you that some of the most passionate advocates for the earth that I have ever met have been six-year-olds, that is an understatement. So I once had a first grader stand up in front of her classmates, totally unprompted, and give the most electrifying speech about how we will work together to save the Colorado ash trees from the emerald ash borer beetle crisis by educating our grownups. So... We were doing an entire unit on the Colorado ash trees and the emerald ash borers and what people can do about it, you know, to help. And she just got so lit up by this and was like standing there with her hands on her hips and proudly like just riling up her fellow first graders that like, we're going to do this. We're going to teach these grownups what they can do and spread the word. I absolutely loved it. I The moment was so beautiful and surprising that I didn't know if I should laugh or cry when I was just standing there listening to her talk to her classmates. It was the best. This particular student came from a home that put a lot of value on sustainability, and they included her from a very young age in their conversations around why they made the certain eco-friendly choices that they were making in their home. She came to school each week and shared with me something so exciting that she had learned about caring for the environment. The fact that her belt buckle was not made from plastic and it was made from wood. And like she would go on and on about this stuff. And I loved listening to her and learning from her. She was consistently teaching me how I could do more to care for the environment. And she was inspiring me with her passion. So mama, I share all of this with you to reassure you that no matter what your experiences have been like with trying to include your kiddos into your passion for living sustainably, or if you haven't done that yet, but you're thinking about it and you're not sure how to go about it, um, you don't want to like scar them and have them be looking back at their childhood and be like, oh, my mom made things so boring because I don't know, we didn't have these little like throw away goodie bags at my birthday party. I don't know what they might say. I want to encourage you. This is a journey. Your children will grow with you and you are setting a highly impactful example for them in your home. I want to encourage you that you are their greatest influencer. 
Another mama friend of mine once put it this way, you are their home base. No matter what they may experience apart from you at school, wherever, your home and your family shapes the world around them and shapes them more than anything else in the world. This can be simultaneously very empowering and very scary to think about sometimes as a parent and the weight that you hold, but it can become very motivating to say the least. You are modeling for your children what to value, what to care about, what is worth your time and their time and energy, how to interact with their environment and their relationships and so on. This is so very powerful and your values will likely become their values at least for a short while until they grow and are developed enough to make their own thoughts and opinions. But even then, they will forever be shaped by the foundation that you set for them. So my question for you today is what legacy are you leaving? When it comes to sustainable living specifically, if I offered to help you master laying this solid foundation in a way that is truly sustainable for you, for your family, that fosters a deeper connection to the earth for you and your kiddos, and that teaches you eco-conscious practices that also happen to save you thousands of dollars in the process without the overwhelming, time-consuming research, the loneliness of going it alone, the worry that you're not making a big enough impact. If I were to empower you with all of this and more in a pretty short amount of time, would you take me up on that offer? The Eco-Minded Mama Collective is an online community that does just that. Your kiddos are learning from you all the time, but like the saying goes, it takes a village to raise a family and you don't have to go through motherhood alone. So inside the collective, we work together to master the five pillars of sustainable living one month at a time, mindfully developing lasting habits that can be sustained in the long run to help you reach your goals while juggling the busy demands of mom life. Each each video lesson that we go through averages about 20 minutes, so you can learn at your own pace with everything you need organized in one place. There is no more striving to find all of the different pins or reels from social media that you saved somewhere because you thought they were pretty cool and inspiring, but where did they go? You don't remember where. Everything is organized in one place, and you can do all of that while developing lifelong friendships and support in the process. If you would love to join this vibrant community of eco-minded mamas, the doors are officially open. And at the time of this recording, this is also our founding members year, which means that you, if you join now, get lifetime access to our lowest ever offer with two options. You can have a monthly subscription plan where you just opt in month by month, or you can have the annual plan where you receive the first two months for free by committing to the entire year subscription. So let's raise our eco-minded families together. I want you to visit ecomindedmama.com. It is linked in the show notes in the episode description. And if you feel called to join the Eco-Minded Mama Collective today, you will get that special founding members rate locked in for the lifetime of your membership, even after it goes up for everybody else. In the meantime, I am sending you all the love and we'll be back next week with more supporting content as you navigate the world, the ups and downs of eco-minded mamahood. I will talk to you then.